Over the last couple of years, I've managed to accumulate quite a few different pairs of barefoot running shoes. But recently, I was contacted by a company called Lono, who said, would you like to try our barefoot running shoe, the Lono Flow? To which, of course, I said yes. We're going to take them for a five kilometer test run. 2.5 kilometers on dirt trails like this and 2.5 kilometers on road. I need the shoe. Okay. What you want to know is, are they worth your hard earned cash? Let's take a look at the features. One of the nice features about these shoes is that once you have got them dirty or smelly or sweaty because you're sockless like me, you can just throw them straight in the washing machine. No problems at all. Nice shot. Thanks. They also have this superb upper fly knit mesh, which is breathable, but strong and durable. The sole, as well as other parts of the shoe, are completely biodegradable. Put them in the ground and within three years, they'll be completely gone. The sole itself feels like really high quality rubber and there's a nice bit of tread here and a nice little bit of thickness to protect you from those rocks and the roots. And there's some natural flex points here in the form of divots. They are double stitched all the way around where stitching needs to be done to connect the fly knit with other parts of the shoe. And the gluing of the rubber onto the fabric seems really high quality. The color of the shoe is a nice stretchy fabric which gives them that slipper like feel. Each part of these laces you can tighten or loosen. The shoes do actually come with a thin insole inside. It's biodegradable as well. You can keep it in or not. There's quite a little bit of squidge in there, a little tiny bit of cushioning, but nothing to detract from that ground feel. I actually ordered the size 45, which is my standard running shoe size, and I had no problems at all. These fit like a glove. So if you're concerned about sizing when ordering online, go with your normal running shoe size. All right, that was 2.5 kilometers done on the road. They felt really good, actually. They got that really wide toe box at the front, which meant I could feel lots of space up there. And I was running a lot more on the front of my feet or the ball of my feet here instead of on the heel at the back, which I sometimes do with more cushioned shoes. So now we're going to go and do 2.5 kilometers on a woody trail where there's some sticks and some stones, things like that. So we'll get a little bit of feedback of how they fare for a little bit of trail running. <laughs> post-workout snack 2.5 kilometers done how did they fare on the trail roads they were absolutely fantastic they have a really thin sole however you don't really feel anything sharp underneath your feet which just goes to show how durable and how high quality this rubber is now obviously these are a road running shoe predominantly but i wanted to take them into the trails into the woods and see what would happen would I recommend this shoe? I have to say yes, for the price of around 70 euros, they're absolutely fantastic. They're everything you'd want in a barefoot shoe. If you want something like the Vibram Five Fingers, they're gonna cost you around 40 euros more. And you can actually get these even cheaper using my link in the description below. There's a nice range of colors on the website. I really like the new blue color that they've got out. So Lono, if you're watching, please send me those as well. I think in the future, they could actually develop these and make like a trail running model where the laces are a little bit shorter or there's a pocket where the laces can go into or maybe there's like a waterproof element to them. I think they're a really good model and I think this is their first attempt at making a barefoot shoe. So they pretty much nailed it. The thing is, I'm actually running the Rona Marathon on the 18th of November and I'm going to go for a sub three hour and 30 minute time. No idea how I'm going to do it, but I think I might actually try and train using the low no flow and compete using the low no flow shoes. So make sure you subscribe for that. Thanks for watching today. Any comments, anything you want to ask, please leave them down below and I'll try to get back to you. Thank you. Until next time, goodbye.